Hello everybody, this is going to be one of the best videos that will help you create a stroke or an outline in Premiere Pro. I'm astounded. To this day, Adobe does not have good option for you to add an outline around the video or a stroke or whatever. It's, it's incredible. I mean, look at this. In Photoshop, you just go right-click blending options, you go stroke, and then you change the color, let's say to red, you increase the size, and look, everything increases nicely. <laughs> Adobe can't make this in Premiere Pro. What a joke. What a joke. So I have prepared five ways for you to do this. So let's get started. First option is using Alpha Glow. So you simply take the Alpha Glow, put it over and uh, nothing happened. If you have a video like me in this case that you have scaled, as you can see, there's not going to be anything actually happening. So in actuality, what you have to do is right click on that video and nest it. After you nest it, then you can add the alpha glow. You can see that little glow does show up. So once again, the effect is alpha glow. So first things first, we're going to tick off fade out, change the color. Sadly, we have starting and ending colors. Let's just change those both at the same time. I'm going to put this above so you can see that in fact, we do have the outline. I'm just going to move it to the right of the screen so you can see. But you'll notice that on the left side doesn't have anything. We got to go inside the nested thingy and move the actual video. And then if we go back, I mean, this is incredible, right? And then if we go back, we're going to notice that this time we actually do have the outline. We can increase the glow, but you will notice that... Why, why, is, why is it doing this? You'll notice that the corners are not exactly following the line of the video. So that's one uh, bad thing about this method. And of course, you have to nest it, and it seems a little bit glitchy. But you can add this little glow. Look at this fade out. If you're not looking for exact stroke... Ah, there we go. No adjustment of feathering, however. The second method is using third-party paid plugin from New Blue Elements. It's like a bundle from New Blue Effects, which is a company. The plugin is called Outline. If we just take that plugin and drop it on the scaled video, nothing happens. However, if I take that same plugin and I drop it over the image, as you can see, it works. So for some reason, these methods don't work over a scaled video, but they work over a scaled image, which is funky, but okay. That's fine. I just still wanted to show you with the, the image. However, you probably guessed it. In order to make this work, we have to once again nest the video. And then we can add the outline. Actually, I'm just going to paste it. And there we go. Look, right now it's working. So it's there. Let's see what happens if we move. And as you can see, once again, if we move the nest, the actual nested sequence, <laughs> the left side is missing. So what we have to do is go inside the nest sequence once again and move the actual video. And then if we go back, now you can see that, look at this. Now there's an outline. But once again, you'll see the corners are not perfect. They're not exactly following the line of the video itself. So essentially it's a similar thing to uh, the alpha glow, except that here you have uh, more options. You can change the width, you can make it softer. Works a little better. However, still not perfect, but hey, it's something. Next up, we can use Radial Shadow. So let's drop it over the video. This time I'm not going to drop it over the image because it's going to work for the video. Let's change the color and change the opacity. And you're going to see that nothing happens, but you have to tick the resize layer. Once you do that, you'll see that the outline does appear. So let's see what happens if we move this time. As you can see, if I move the video, there's an outline around the entire video. You're probably noticing this uh, eye popping thingy right away is that the, the ratio of the outline is not equal on all sides. Top, there's a little bit. On left side, there's a little bit more. Bottom has even more. And the right side has the most outline, the thickness, as far as thickness goes. However, you can change the light source and play with it a little bit but you're never going to get the perfect result. You're always going to notice that top and bottom are going to have less thickness as compared to the left and the right side. So no matter what you do, you're just not going to be able to do that. Yeah, just like, it's there is always, you know, you can get it. If you need it, if you need this thickness, it's not really noticeable. But if you change it, 
and you'll really notice it like look at this top and bottom way less than the right and left uh, there's also softness of course and this time that the outline actually does follow the line of the video so there is no rounded corners whatsoever so this is good hey we're getting there we're getting better and better if this is this works for you if this is fine for you you can stop right here but let's continue next we have an effect called paint bucket drop it over and uh, do all your skibidi dibidi but it's not gonna work let me stop you right there because this one also needs nesting right click nest okay and drop the paint bucket over the nested sequence next up we can go to effect controls and we first thing we need to change is stroke anti-aliasing put it to stroke as well as fill selector put it to alpha channel and next we change the stroke width but you're gonna notice well it does have two two bad sides i suppose the first thing you're probably noticing is that as i'm changing first first and foremost the 40 the value of 40 is the maximum second thing you're noticing is that the outline moves inside and outside as well so inwards and outwards uh, essentially if we compare this to the photoshop this is like if you if you choose the stroke to be centered so you can see it's moving inside and out yeah just that's that might not be something you want also we're noticing that the corners are rounded there's i don't think there's so, there's no softness whatsoever you, and if i change the opacity you can really see what's happening so yeah just moving both ways but it's still not bad i mean at very least the stroke is actually correct ratio there's not no nonsense but hey this is what it is and the last method in my opinion a little bit annoying at the beginning potentially annoying as you go through but it is to use the drop shadow effect four times so drop it in once go to effect controls and bear with me i know what you're thinking probably most of you are just like come on i'm not going to add this four times you will not but let me give you the pros and cons like i've done throughout all these other methods so first things first let's change the shadow color let's change the opacity and let's change the I suppose distance and you see look at that there's a shadow right there awesome so let's change the di direction we're gonna change it to zero now let's uh, we can actually collapse this drop another shadow and this time we're gonna change the direction to 90 uh, collapse that drop another shadow change the direction of this one to 180 and finally add another one collapse expand direction negative 90 and look at that now we actually get a proper shadow uh, before you continue first things first select all of these together holding the control left clicking on each one of them right click save preset and then go like outline slash stroke and hit ok now we can actually remove these go to effects and just type in stroke for example and look at that under presets we have outline stroke drag it drop it in you instantly get the stroke so the what are the pros and cons of this well first of first of all the pros are as you can see that the outline itself or the stroke is actually good ratio proper ratio there are no rounded corners so that's a good thing what is the bad side well if you want to change the color you have to do this for all four of these Ah, I was going to curse, but I'm not. Look at that. You have to do it for all four of these. And you actually have to copy the code to make it the same. And then go, bah, oh my god, I can't believe this. Yeah, it's, it's 21st century, people. Look what we're doing. I mean, unbelievable. And there we go. That's how you change the outline. Ah, oh, I mean, and that's crazy. And now if you want to change the distance, which is actually the thickness in this case, you have to do this for every single side manually i don't i i'm not a coder or programmer whatsoever so i i'm not sure if if there's possibility to to actually code all of these or program all of these so they change together i i, I don't know how to do this it would be awesome if i could i think in after effects you can do this but can you do this in premiere pro i don't think so but as you can see, these are the pros and cons. If you have multiple videos to outline, multiple things to do, hopefully you can just create multiple presets, drag and drop them, and you don't have to manually change colors so much. So it might not be such a big hassle. You can choose out of these methods which one works for you the best. 
if you really want these corners to be sharp, you've noticed which methods provide you that. For the most methods, you actually have to nest the video itself. Wish I wish there was a better plugin. Trust me, I've, I've explored. Let me really quickly show you. So I've explored the uh, Boris Continuum, I believe that's what it's called. New Blue Elements, Effects, whatever. Uh, Red Giant, Sapphire. So I've been looking through these and trying to... F There's also one custom one. Let me really quickly show you this. Creative Impatience. It's called CI Feather Crop. Watch this. Watch this nonsense, man. So I drop it in. And I believe I'm not even going to be able to utilize it until I crop. So let's see, how does this work? Look at this, I have to crop the actual video every side separately to add the border. Look at this, look at this stunts it's bad. Who's gonna do this? What are they thinking? So anyways, that's what also, also yeah, one more, one more method is you add another video on top of this one, put it behind, make it like whatever color you want, make it a little larger. Oh my God, it's like, what are these people doing? I just wanna add a simple plugin. I don't want this to take millions of RAM power and stuff whatever all right good good anyways thanks so much for watching this has been a little episode showing you how to add an outline what methods there are it's really up to you to choose which one you like the most if there's any better methods that come up in the future i will make sure to share them if you have anything better put it in comments so that's it i'll see you when i see you Freeze, yeah, you signing out this shit's fantastic for the ages feels like it's magic Hear the clock been haunting my dreams It's been ticking for hours Ticking yeah. for hours Yeah, I feel so old Can't waste no time Gotta wait in line And the weather's so cold Should've brought my coat